Hello guys, welcome back and today we have a new third jersey to look at. This time it's coming from the San Jose Sharks who just released their jersey yesterday. Now this jersey was leaked about a couple of weeks ago. It went to a Utah store and they took a picture of it and it was basically revealed to everybody online. So we pretty much knew what this jersey was going to be. It was just a matter of time before they actually announced it. It really does suck though that it was leaked because I would have been a lot more excited about this if I didn't know it beforehand. But hey, that's just how the world works right now. So we're going to get right into it, and the San Jose Sharks have revealed it as their stealth jersey. That's what they're calling it. And on one hand, I'm, I'm just really conflicted on this jersey. On the one hand, I do really like it, but on the other, I do have some complaints about it. Now, of course, the most noticeable thing about this jersey is the entire black. That's the main color. It kind of does look like the jersey that they had a few years ago where it had that different logo. With this logo, there are some places that are blacked out where it used to be white. So there are some differences with the logo, of course. And I think it looks pretty sharp. Uh, on the shoulders, you've got that logo of their, I think it's their, one of their alternates. And on the, sh on the arms, it's got some more unique features where it has those two blue stripes and it has those weird textures where it kind of looks metallic. But really, there's not a lot to comment on this jersey because it isn't totally unique. It isn't something that we've never seen before. The only thing really unique is those arms in between the blue where it has that metallic texture, which we'll look at in a minute. But a lot of this is really stuff derived from other jerseys. There's not too much there. I guess you could do the new Sharks logo. It does look pretty good. And of course, we haven't really seen the black used there too much. So I think that is a cool little touch. And at least they're going all black where they're really going and committing on it. Now in this picture you get to see the collar, of course you have that little blue stretch around the Adidas collar and in there it says this is Sharks territory. I don't know if it says it in the home or away ones, I think it might or something similar, but there is that the collar and there is that slogan there, uh, but you also got the blue collar there which works pretty well in this jersey wrapped around the black. In this photo, you get a bigger look at the uh, shoulder logos themselves. It looks pretty good. Of course, got that fin in the middle of the water. It's pretty simple, but there are some complexities to it. It works very well on a black a jersey, and for that, I really do like these shoulder pat on these shoulder logos. They have it on both shoulders, so it's not just one, so it makes it a little bit more symmetrical, which I love. In this picture, you get to get a closer look at what the metallic kind of uh, texture in the middle of the two blue uh, strands looks like. It looks very interesting. It looks pretty futuristic, and at least it makes it look different. It definitely makes it stand out from the rest of the jerseys. And while I don't think it's the best thing ever, it does make it look a lot more unique, along with the San Jose jerseys that we've already seen. And I do like that part. I think it does make it stand out, which in today's jersey world, I think is a solid thing. And of course, they gotta get a pose with Eric Carlson in the jersey. Of course, he makes any jersey look good, let's be honest. And he definitely rocks this. But having a player suit up and actually wear it, I think it looks pretty solid. And on the ice, I think this will be pretty good. Of course, they show revealed this jersey in front of their fans, I think before a preseason game or during an intermission. And the fans went crazy. Eric Carlson went out to the ice and debu debuted this jersey in front of them. So I like that move from the San Jose Sharks and revealing it right after the Vegas game pretty much. It was a nice surprise. But yeah, sometimes jerseys can look better on players and they do look better having somebody actually wear them. And I think on this, it does look a lot better. It looks a lot more unique and it looks a lot more uh, professional than the actual photos that have been revealed. So I like that, you know, you got to have a player wearing it. So I think it does look better here. But again, back to the first photo, and we're back to the actual unveiling that the San Jose Sharks revealed it as, and I, I just, I'm really conflicted on this jersey. I think I do like it. I do like the new, not new, but kind of stylized San Jose Sharks logo where it has that black. I like the black. With that San Jose Sharks logo, I think it looks pretty good. And of course, the San Jose Sharks did used to have a black jersey, which was fantastic. And it's pretty much almost the exact same thing. So I do like it here. I do think it's a solid jersey. Not one of my favorites in the third jersey that have been revealed so far, but I think it's pretty solid. There might have been some things that I might have changed. Maybe I'd put some blue shoulders right there. Maybe that would have looked, made it look a little more sharp. And the one thing, one complaint I really have is that it's a little bit too simple for me. There's two uh, blue stripes and then that metallic feel, and then you got the shoulders which have those two logos. There's some unique things about this jersey, but it's not overly unique. It's not stuff we've never seen before, and it's kind of simple. It's kind of just there, and there's not a lot going on. So if I would change something, maybe put it blue on the 
shoulders, maybe put a little stri stripe of blue at the bottom. Do something there, because it looks a little bit plain sometimes, and while there is some unique things about it, it would look plain on a lot of different players, and there is some complaints about it, even though it is solid. But again, sometimes simple is very, very good, and this, I think, does work very well. It's, again, it's not one of my favorite third jerseys revealed so far, but I do think it's a very good one. It's a very solid one, and I do commend the San Jose Sharks for going for something new. Again, while the black jersey that they had a few years ago was kind of similar, this is a new concept, and this is a new design, so I do commend them for that. I do want that to continue. I love seeing new jersey designs, if I like them or not. I just love seeing teams take risks, and San Jose definitely did. But overall, I like it. Would I make some changes? Definitely. But overall, I think the San Jose Sharks did a pretty decent job on this. And we'll see that throughout the ice a few times throughout the season. Uh, with Eric Carlson on the ice, with Brent Burns on the ice, it's going to be fantastic. And these jerseys will definitely shine on the ice, and they'll definitely pop. Now, just a little bit of a reminder, I think I'm going to make these jersey videos for every single new jersey that will be uh, revealed. I made them for most of the new jerseys that we've seen, most of the new jersey concepts that we've seen so far, but I think I'm going to skip out on the throwbacks because I don't know if they're that important and that newsworthy. I'd rather just cover the jerseys that are new, like the San Jose one, like the Winnipeg one, a jersey that we haven't seen before. But I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this jersey design, the San Jose Shark Stealth jersey? I want to hear from you. What do you like about it? What do you don't like about it? And of course, what do you think about my thoughts on the jersey? But that's going for it, guys. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. Again, down below what you think about this jersey and my thoughts on it as well. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.